Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all this morning? Well, I've got to say, I've got so much for you today. Uh, but first of all, I've got to say a quick thank you to William Leggett, uh, who sent me a lovely little message yesterday saying that he's been able to identify uh, seven of our cats and asked how many cats we have. We've actually got 12. So you've identified seven quite correctly. Uh, this is Nelly. Uh, this was the one you said you thought was a tabby where in fact uh, she's actually ginger and uh, you can get a better view of her. Um, let's see how many other cats are still about. Oh, now you've not identified this little fella. Uh, this is our latest addition. Um, his name is actually Leo. However, he's got the sub nickname of Herbert because he's a little Herbert who's into mischief. Um, he belonged initially to our landlord's cousin uh, who basically um, had some stray cats that came to her, but she couldn't um, look after them. And she came to us and said, would you look after him? And um, <laughs> he's got a little feather there. I don't know if you can see that. And he basically um, has been with us now for a few months, I think now. Uh, little, And he is a little Herbert. He's into mischief everywhere. And as you can see, he's a little cutie. So there you go. Right. Um, as I've said, Lots to talk about this morning here on the island. Um, and some of it is, <laughs> you couldn't have even made it up. It's that interesting this morning. Right, uh, first of all, I've also got to say a quick hello to me mum. Me mum is off to the hospital today with my brother Simon. Hopefully everything's going to be okay. She's going for a consultation. Once again, can I just say thank you to Susan Neal um, for all your uh, help that you've been doing with the residents at Green Gables Nursing Home in Margate. Um, thank you for the lovely photographs. Yesterday, some nice other pictures went up online of my mum enjoying herself. Uh, they've been doing facials and all sorts in the nursing home. It's really sweet to see those pictures. Mum with cucumbers on her eyes. <laughs> But anyway, uh, thank you for everybody there at the nursing home. Hopefully this morning uh, you tuned in this morning watching what's happening here in Greece as a, a little bit of a, an aside from your, your long days. Anyway, um, this is the news. And uh, my God, what news have we got for you today? Uh, first of all, I think the, the big talk this morning uh, on the island is a 55-year-old uh, Sakinthian bus driver. Uh, he was diagnosed with coronavirus. Um, he's also been in the ICU here in Zakynthos Hospital. He's actually in a serious condition. It's been classed as critical. It seems the hospital staff wanted to move him over to Rio for further treatment, but he's too ill to be moved to Rio. So at the moment, oh, and those people are wondering where Rio is. Rio is in Patra, all right? It's a big hospital on the outskirts of Patra, absolutely massive place. A lot of the locals here, if they need uh, more specialist treatment, that is where they go to, first of all, uh, to Patra, to the Rio hospital there. So at the moment, uh, they can here. Interestingly, uh, he's driving school kids to school. Um, it seems now what's happened is uh, the children that he was driving on the bus that he works on, uh, of which there were um, 30 of them, those children are now in quarantine at home uh, and also obviously being checked and under observation uh, and they're going to do 14 days in quarantine. Uh, the headmaster of the school, which is the first Shambros school, uh, actually said that uh, all precautions were being taken uh, within the school to make sure that uh, all measures were being passed. However, he did emphasise that people when travelling on public transport and also kids on the school buses should be wearing their masks as well as the drivers should be wearing their masks as well. So we'll keep an eye on that story uh, just to see how things uh, pan out there. And for those people that are curious about what the figures are at the moment for the virus, uh, as of this morning, there has been 399 new cases of the virus. 55 of them are connected with known outbreaks, a family member or somebody that they worked with. Um, also, as well, there are 33 cases which were from the entry into the country, uh, either at Channel Port, at a port or at, uh, at the, the one of the airports here. 
Uh, also, as well, the number of cases now since the vi since the pandemic started that has now risen to twenty thousand five hundred and forty one. Um, eighty seven people are in ICUs. That obviously includes our uh, bus driver here on the island, and there has been three deaths on the island. As uh, sorry, three deaths in Greece. Uh, the average age of 78 with underlying uh, conditions. Now, it also seemed that last night a Greek government advisor to the virus committee said on television, on Greek television last night, that the country had entered its second wave of the pandemic uh, 10 years sorry, 10 years, 10 days uh, into August. So it looks like now that even Greece is saying, you know, are we heading for a third uh, wave of the pandemic? But we'll keep an eye on that uh, and see how it pans out. Right now, this story, I think, is absolutely incredible. Um, it's an ongoing court case, so I've got to be very careful how I word and say this, so I'm not accused of interfering with Greek justice here on the island. Um, but I'm going to take you back to uh, April 2016. Um, in April 2016, a gentleman who is now the current mayor of the island, who I also met in the summer when we were having issues over uh, the lockdown at midnight and trying to get changes uh, to the to the uh, rules uh, and going to see him and trying to get clarity on you know on what we're expected to do uh, with the restrictions that were put in place um, it seems that there is a robbery trial going on a sorry a robbery appeals trial going on because in 2016 uh, the mayor was a victim of a robbery the mayor, it seems, was carrying uh, 550,000 euros in cash uh, on his way to the bank. And while on his way to the bank, he was attacked and robbed by two men. Uh, one of these men was also a former policeman as well, which is also uh, kind of embarrassing for the island that a former policeman had uh, turned a bank robber. Uh, Basically, what happened was the, the, the mayor was supposedly in his testimony to the court. And at the moment, there's an appeals trial going on in uh, Patra at the moment. Uh, the two men who were both accused of robbery uh, uh, were found guilty and sentenced to 20 years and 21 years. Uh, the police officer got 20 years. He got a lighter sentence. And the other guy who was with him, uh, who's classed as a foreigner, but I have a feeling he may have been an Albanian um, because that's the way the wording sometimes comes out when uh, you put it through Google Translate. Uh, he, got, uh, he got the 21-year sentence. Anyway, basically... The mayor was carrying 500,000 euros in cash. And now this money was for his school that he has built up in Volimez. So if you ever go up to the Volimez location, you'll go past a lovely American looking high school, uh, which is up there, which hasn't yet been opened as far as I'm aware. It's a, a bit of a controversy itself. And this was one of the reasons why the mayor ran for office was because he spent all this money building this school and the school technically wasn't allowed to open uh, because it was interfering with the education system here on the island. And this was his way of giving something back to the island and also his way of running for office as well, uh, to become mayor. Anyway, <clears throat> it seems he was taking this 500,000 euros to the bank because three weeks before, he'd been robbed at his home and uh, somebody had stolen from his home 300,000 euros, uh, which he had buried in the garden. Um, so, again, this is such an extraordinary case of many twists and turns. So um, he was taking the 500,000 to the bank because he'd been robbed three weeks before of 300,000, which he had buried in his garden. Now, I'm going to say now... This is not unusual for Greece and for Zakynthos. Trust me, during the economic crisis of 2008, it wouldn't be uncommon to stand in the line in the local bank waiting to get your few euros out and watch somebody taking 80 to 90,000 euros in cash, okay, a little shopping bag and walking out of the bank, okay? But that was then, all right? Uh, also, as well, the same two guys 
after robbing the uh, mayor of his 500,000, um, they'd also uh, robbed somebody else who had 18,000 euros, uh, virtually just a, a couple of blocks away from the street. So these guys were obviously, um, you know, uh, shall we say, career criminals from the looks of it. But I'm not going to say any more because the case is still ongoing and um, the trial is set to continue uh, on the four, or the appeals trial is set to continue on the 14th of uh, October. So there you go. You, you couldn't make it up, could you? Absolutely interesting trial. I can understand why when I went to see the mayor, he looked so harassed. Uh, I think I'd have been harassed if I'd lost nearly a million euros, 700 odd thousand euros. Uh, uh, in just such a short uh, couple of years. So anyway, um, interesting story there. Right, OK, let's have a quick look and see who is tuning in at the moment. I'm just trying to scroll down. I'm on my tablet again. Uh, once again, the reason for that is my tablet actually um, uh, is better for picture quality uh, when I upload the show onto uh, Facebook. Uh, sorry, not Facebook, onto YouTube uh, uh, later on tonight, I will stick it up there. Right, first of all, can I say big hello to Billy Brotherston. Billy Brotherston, I know your name. Tuning in, ex Raffredge buddy. Nice to have you with us. Uh, Ronnie Woods, or I bet known as Chippy Woods. He's over there in Spain, actually. Chippy's retired to there, ex Raffredge buddy. Uh, he just got a new scooter for his birthday from his wife. Bless him. Uh, <laughs> Lambretta as well. I know a fella here who'd love to have a chat with you. And I've got to admit, the colour of the scooter you got does look nice. I've got to admit, that old classic style, uh, light shade of blue. Very classy, very nice. Also, Matt Pritchard is tuning in as well. Nice to have you as well, Matt. I think Matt is Raffredge, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Chris Neal as well. Nice to have you. Steve Lee, good customer, good guest who pops into um, Magdalena's every year. Uh, nice to have you with us, although he didn't come this year because he went to Turkey instead, but we won't hold... No, he didn't. He went over to Catalonia, didn't he? Uh, so we won't hold it against you. All right, Jamie mckay Guns tuning in as well. Nice to have you. Uh, Rianne Mitchell, nice to have you with us. Alan Woodhouse, nice to have you. DJ Chris Kemp, nice to see you here as well, checking up. Uh, also, Thelexina Ferrati, nice to have you with us as well. And all of a sudden, I'm finding it difficult to scroll. Barry Lug, my old mate Barry, head of security at Savoy Hotel. Have you had a good year at the Savoy Hotel this year? Have you been very busy despite everything going on with coronavirus and the implications? I'd be very, very keen to see how your season went over there in London. Uh, also, Christos. Oh, hello, Christos. Nice to see you, fella. Christos used to work at Magdalena's. He left us a couple of years ago, uh, went to Paradise Bar. He then left there and he's now been working in a rather swish hotel. I can't remember the name of the swish hotel uh, over there in Sylvie. But nice to have you checking in, Christo, as well. Nice to see you. Hopefully we'll catch up at some point over in uh, over in the, the winter. Uh, Steve Hodgson, nice to have you with us as well. Hi, Ginge, from, uh, what you call it, from a, oh, what's, I can't really, oh, something in, going on in Cyprus. Um, in fact, you've actually reminded me of something there thing as well. Oh, yeah, hi from the concert crew in Cyprus. Nice to have you tuning in there, Stephen. I hope everything is cool for you. Just got to say a quick thing as well. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Danny Plows, uh, who lived in Cyprus, ex Raffredge buddy, he passed away a few days ago um, at the age of uh, 68. Um, his funeral is today in, uh, in Limassol uh, at the Metropole um, um, Cemetery. So I just want to say to his family and also to the guys, ex Raffredge guys, who are going to turn out there today. Um, bless you mate per ardua uh, you crack on fantastic character oh, so many stories I could tell you about Danny's exploits really really nice genuine and sincere bloke and my thoughts are to your wife Thelma and also kids uh, one of whom is now a doctor and your daughter as well and uh, bless you mate gonna miss you all right one of the reasons to go back to cyprus to visit um i'm afraid has been taken from me but it does but that's by the by anyway nice to nice anyway 
John David Hester, nice to see you as well. <clears throat> Elaine Finnegan, nice to have you as well. Uh, John David Hester, morning, Ginge, just on my way to work. Oh, bless you, fella. You're lucky you still got a job in comparison to some other people. Uh, Natsia Metapulets is still there. Amanda Gregory is watching. Nice to have you, man. You got electric today. We got electric today. That seems to be an in-joke with us at the moment. And we got water. Anyway, uh, Jane Mackay Gunn says morning as well. Andy Sterling is watching. Tracy Jones is watching. Lisa Jane Baker is watching. Anyway, there you go. Quite a few people tuning in. Once again, can I just say thank you to everybody? Um, what am I doing today? Well, today, uh, Jane and I, uh, once we're sorted here, oh, big hello to Barry as well, who's tuning in from Essex. Um, what we're doing today is we're going to the coffee morning uh, that is run down at Costa Coffee down in Kalamaki. Uh, this is where money is raised to help feed the strays around the Kalamaki area. We go down. We're also on the feeding rotor as well, and we do Sundays. Um, so we get a chance to catch up with other people on the rotor. Have a little bit of a social bit. Uh, Penny extracts money from us, which all goes towards uh, feeding the strays and, and obviously making sure that they can get through the winter. It's been a bit hard for them a little bit this year, uh, simply because with the coronavirus and everything else going on, the lack of tourists, uh, they used to get lots of treats from tourists here, the old strays. People would go and feed them on holidays, plus businesses would feed them as well. And obviously, uh, because a lot of businesses weren't open, some hotels weren't open as well, uh, the animals were obviously having a little bit of a hard time. There are some real hardcore members who continue feeding all the way through the summer. Normally we stop feeding in the summer because it can be, uh, we, we can rely on uh, various businesses and um, hotels to carry on what we do in the winter because they obviously shut. Uh, but anyway, we go down there, we drink coffee, we eat cake, uh, and we give money uh, to go towards the strays as well. Can I just say a quick hello to Sally from Rominos over in uh, Sillaby. Uh, she's a member of the of the Kalamaki feeding roster, and she's done some really good work uh, with some of the stray dogs as well, and, and taking some of those in and trying to get them a home, etc. As well. So anyway, we'll sort of hopefully meet up uh, at uh, thingy today. Now the other thing is, well, as soon as I've done that, or I've done that. I'm going to be whizzing off for another coffee morning, uh, and that is I have recorded a show um, today. It's only an hour long. It's a kind of a test, all right, for rebroadcasting from 34 Bar. Can I just say thank you for the amount of people that put up, um, uh, uh, you know, comments and that, and I had the biggest... Uh, amount of people looking in at that broadcast. I think I had over 800 people uh, when I last looked at the numbers who, who looked at that broadcast from 34. So obviously, and also some people made suggestions, could you do your broadcast from other locations as well? Because it's just nice to see other places other than your home. <laughs> that's all right. No problem with that. I, I actually think that's a good idea, actually. And I will try and do that. But anyway, I'm going to re-rebroadcast a, a show that I made uh, yesterday. Uh, Alan Gregor will be pleased to know it features scooters and it also features Northern Soul. Um, I found a new source of uh, videos of Northern Soul classics. Absolutely fantastic. Big shout out to uh, Big Ron Soul Music. Uh, the remixes of some of the classics and the videos that he's done are absolutely awesome. And uh, th some of those are going to be in that hour uh, show today. And it's really just a chance just to... Uh, have a look and um, basically uh, uh, just, you know, for you to enjoy. And also the idea is I want to do a special show for me mum uh, and all the nurse uh, nurses and residents at the Green Gables Nursing Home. Right, that's it from me. A couple of people still tuning in. Lyndon, nice to have you with us. Glyn Moggy Morris, Moggy, nice to see you here as well. Alan Gregory up there, up the road there. He says, good morning. Uh, Barry Hester says, good morning, Ginge. Uh, as we couldn't get to Zanti this Friday, uh, we've managed to book to Corfu. Have a great day. Will you enjoy yourself in Corfu, mate? Uh, let us know what it's like over there. I was chatting to somebody yesterday in Corfu who runs rooms there. They said they've actually had a very good season, actually, in relation to everybody else. So uh, they are absolutely... 
<laughs> Somebody saying, come and broadcast from our balcony. Who's saying that? i got a feeling that could be Amanda Gregory. Yes, it is. Oh, do you know what? I might just do that. Come and broadcast from your balcony uh, just for a change of location. All right. Anyway, I better go because I'm babbling on now. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. I'll keep my eyes on the stories that are happening here in Zakynthos and also in Greece and uh, just keep you informed as to what's going on. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you tomorrow. You take care. Have a great day.